Aaron Rodgers stays in Green Bay. Contract details have not been announced yet. Uh, Ian Rappaport put out fake news. But Aaron Rodgers staying in Green Bay. Fake news. Is, is this good for Aaron Rodgers, or should he have went to another team and tried his luck elsewhere? It doesn't matter. This is it's it depends on the contract for Aaron Rodgers, right? If he got just the absolute haul from the Packers, yeah, it's good for Aaron Rodgers. I don't like it for Green Bay though. I think they should just moved on. And they're they're hanging on to something that hasn't won in a Super Bowl in God knows how many years. I mean, at some point, you need to cut ties and get what you can out of him. You're going to get no value for Aaron Rodgers, and I doubt you make another Super Bowl. Wow. I mean, yeah, like he's – what is he, like 39? Um, he's 30. He's going in like 38. Oh, okay, so 38. They tagged uh, Devontae Adams too um, before the uh, franchise tag deadline. Yeah, I mean – what, let him just stay there, I guess. Like you're right, he has the same amount of Super Bowls as Nick Foles, and but you know who doesn't have any Super Bowls? Dan Marino. Like it's hard to win a damn Super Bowl, okay? So I know people give him a lot of crap uh, about the playoffs, but who cares? Like they're in the NFC North. It's a weak division. That division stinks. They'll probably win the division again. They'll probably have another first, second seed. Like just try it again. I don't think the team you probably could have gone to maybe like one or two better rosters, maybe even not even that. So just stick with green Bay, Jordan love, like get wrecked, you know, poor guy, but, but this is a record on repeat for well, green Bay. At least there's like how no many, more, how many there's years no more can drama? you sit here and say, I'm happy with us hitting the NFC championship, getting our ass whooped, or I'm happy making it so far in the playoffs. Shit, getting our ass <laughs> you know, as a Dallas and Dolphins fan, like I would love that. Like, who cares? Like, no, because it's the same thing with Oklahoma football that we bitch about all the time. <sighs> we make the playoff, we get our ass whooped. We make the playoff, we get our ass whooped. We make the playoff, we get our ass whooped. It's just like, no, <laughs> it's unacceptable at a certain point. Let's go. Let's move on. Hey, this is a interesting point here. Yeah. Trevor says, bro, I've always been a Green Bay fan. I'm ready for a rebuild. I'll and go ahead and tell you now, the Green Bay's franchise, the way that front office is structured, will never enter a rebuild. They'll wow. never enter a rebuild. They will always find a way to shuffle around the money. What's if, up, they have to move on, if they have to move on from a quarterback early. I mean, they drafted Jordan Love. We all thought the Aaron Rodgers deal was done, and they were going to move on to Jordan Love. And Jordan Love proved out to stink, so that's why they pushed to get Aaron Rodgers back. <laughs> How do so, they I mean, know he's, he's barely played? He played like one game. He's barely he... played because he's garbage. Wow. Like Jordan Love. So we'll get into Jordan Love shortly, but he he's not the option. I, I personally don't think Green Bay will allow themselves to go into a rebuild unless they literally reshape the whole roster. So now mm. that they franchise Devontae, I mean, well, they'll probably reach a long-term deal with him as they reach with Rodgers. I mean, they now that they franchise him, they have a full year to figure out his contract. All I'll but, say is with Aaron Rodgers as the quarterback, you'll never be in a rebuild. You'll never be below seven wins with Aaron Rodgers as the quarterback. Which Are you happy with that? I'm is that not something to come home every day? I could care, like care less. I'm if Aaron Rodgers wants to go that. to the NFC Championship every year and lose – Hey, dude, more power to him. Hopefully the Saints fucking squeak their ass on by him. But it's, <laughs> it's not going to happen. But if I'll tell you this. If I was in that situation and we were hitting up, the Bill? NFC Championship every year, I'd be pretty – I'd be like, hey, Saints had another great year. Can we repeat? Can we repeat? If you're constantly in the playoffs every single year, Saints went through a little poverty level in like 2012, 13. It's like – So you're trying to tell me if you're in the, you're in the playoffs every year, eventually you're going to hit the hump, huh? You eventually have. I mean, okay, yeah, okay. Well, ask Green Bay how that's going this decade. I mean, ask them how that's going. I mean, they're in the playoffs every year, dude. They're they're not they're not constantly and they're not getting over the hump. I'm not saying that's Aaron Rodgers' fault. That's I don't. I mean, that's not all Aaron Rodgers' fault though. Come it's on. not a one player game, dude. Aaron Rodgers is not the sole purpose. They're not making it past the NFC Championship. Right. I, but you're not going to sit here and pay Aaron Rodgers all this money. Well, Dak leaving. Prescott's been in Dallas, what, six years? Nothing. Whoa, whoa. Two, two, two playoff wins? Am I, Let's am move I on, happy? dude. Trade oh, for Jordan Love. Am Trade I happy? Jordan Love. Have I ever praised Dak Prescott? 
am I over here saying, let's give him another extension after this four years. You haven't heard that come out of my mouth. I'm not content with how the Cowboys are doing. If we don't get the shit done in the next couple of years, we're going into a rebuild. It's been miserable. So why as a Packers fan would you sit here and say, let's keep the 39-year-old man who's going to take up probably – a good chunk of our cap space, even though it's said to be cap friendly, you never know. And it'll then Devontae, 20, it'll be twenty million dollar deal against the cap. Let me let me interject for just a second. There was some Super Bowl winning quarterback that won multiple Super Super Bowls who kept restructuring his contract so the team could get players. Hate him or love him, Tom Brady did. I mean, he took less and less money. So, Aaron. I mean, it, 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 like we said, like Van said, like it's a team thing. And if they don't have the damn money to get other players because they're uh, you're paying a third. Tom Brady probably year. did more with less. Right. I mean, he did for the most Tom part. Tom Brady rode. I'm not saying he he was carried because Tom Brady carried those those games, but he also always had a historically great defense on his side and a kicker that was the most clutch kicker you've ever seen that year, and then sure. they get another kicker. And then that kicker is the most clutch kicker you've ever the seen. The Pack have kicker. a great defense. They do. Mm. Yeah. Mm, They've had a great hurt. defense the past two to three years. They're hurting at linebacker. Their free safety position is hurting. They have one good corner. They have two good edge rushers. They What are you talking about, Kevin King? Come yeah, on. Kevin King, Kevin King is guard. Dude, <laughs> Jair Alexander being hurt this year was a huge deal for them. Kevin King is the worst. Like he is Eli Apple status. That's Kevin King. <laughs> like Kevin King has to get out of Green Bay, dude. If they, I think Kevin King will constantly be the downfall of that organization on the defensive side of the ball because late, late games, who do they target? They're not targeting old fucking four three speed six foot one Jair Alexander over here on the right side of the field. They're targeting the left side of the field where Kevin King's garbage ass is trying to guard DK Metcalf or guard the <laughs> fucking. You know, Mike- you have to Michael justify Thomas's- Kevin King being shit to me. I was a joke. <laughs> Kevin King. Uh, I was like, trash. we all saw that a every couple years every ago defense in the NFC has Championship holes, game. Where Kevin King got fucking roasted. Yeah, look, there you go. Stokes and Razul Douglas. He was a fucking great pickup for them this year. He's developed. He was, he was he was really good though. Every hole has a defense, and that defense was really good. If they wanted to make a run for the Super Bowl this year, I mean, they had the shit to do it. They had the pieces. The Green Bay front office refuses to draft him another receiver. Hopefully, they do it this year because apparently they they're going to have to do it this year. If they don't do it this year, they're going in on a thirty-nine-year-old quarterback that they refused to give him the weapons, and now they're like, "Well, fuck, we better give him the weapons since we're just going to keep him around." Whoa, getting spicy. Yeah. I could I could easily see Green Bay trading up in the draft this year to get a top wide receiver like Olave or Drake London, some of those guys. Garrett Wilson, Traylon Burks. Well, uh, Garrett, Traylon Garrett Burks. Wilson and Traylon Burks awful. could have followed awful at the them combine. Late. Awful at the combine. But it's like Olave. Olave's wide receiver number one after that combine. He looks really good. Really he good. Very good. He's Did you watch his laughing. catching too? His catching? Yeah, his on-field was beautiful. He's phenomenal player. He's an, he's a new number wide receiver number one, like I proclaimed a couple of weeks ago on this here podcast. Mm-hmm. Olave would be the number one wide receiver in that draft class. But if you right. stick with me, I'm I'm going to say that uh, – what do you say? We'll draft the DNA for us. Really pitiful. <laughs> Typical Green Bay. I'm just saying, at some point, you're going to have to live with the life that you're not going to have Aaron Rodgers. And if you want to keep pushing it out and pushing it out and pushing it out, good for Green Bay. Live with your your playoff win, your play your two playoff wins, getting beat out. I mean, you can do that all day long. Now, then, you're, I mean, he's back to back MVP though. With with yeah, yeah he, well, you don't you don't get rid of. Hang your head on that one, Green Bay. You I'm don't get saying, rid of you don't get rid of back to back MVP. I, yeah, like dude, you would while be, his value super high. While he's you would be super a clown into to get season, rid of. You would this get this chick. Uh, look, the, the Packers clown. fans on my side. Thank you. Aaron Rodgers would go to any franchise if he leaves Green Bay. Super Bowl. I could. I could literally almost guarantee it. Any franchise. He could go to the Detroit Lions. Turn around. Win eleven games. I don't doubt that. So as as Green Bay, why do you not say? Back to back MVPs, no court, no fantastic quarterback on the market. Drafts is low, all time high for a starting franchise quarterback, which he's not a franchise quarterback at this point. But somebody's going to give you three first rounds for Aaron Rodgers. 
I mean, Russell Wilson just demanded two and two seconds. Why not trade while the value is literally at an all-time high? So I, That makes sense. I could agree with that. However, they didn't want to trade them. That's on them. They, you know, from last year to this year, they made a lot of progress, you know, mutually with, with their feelings and shit. So I think Aaron's going to stay and – Thank God we can stop talking about him because he's fucking staying. So, so best case <laughs> best case scenario, like trade wise, he goes to San Francisco, right, or Denver. Staying here, I mean, it was, it, realistically, if you're Green Bay, do you do you really try to go with Jordan Love, Jimmy Garoppolo, or Carson Wentz here versus Aaron freaking Rodgers? No. You There's ride plenty with, of other teams that would have that would have if they said. We we're open yeah, shopping here. If, if they wouldn't have traded to so if they traded Denver, they get Drew Locke. Right? So now they have Drew Locke and Jordan Love chilling on the same roster. Same draft class, I'm pretty sure, right? I don't know. Or I think Locke might have been before. You trade him to San Francisco, you get Jimmy Garoppolo. Outrageously less talented than Aaron Rodgers. You go to Colt, you go to Indianapolis, you get Carson Wentz. Realistically, not a huge skill gap in between those two. Carson Wentz is saying healthy. I mean, Carson Wentz is way below Aaron Rodgers, but yeah. yeah. But that's that's the three teams you're throwing out there. But if they would have came out and said we're fielding offers, almost almost twenty plus teams would have picked the phone up and called and said, "Well, I mean, what are we talking about here? At least fielded." I mean, all the teams that are interested in Russell Wilson would have called and asked at least what they wanted. So, you know, the Giants would have called. The Eagles probably would have picked up the phone and called. Tampa Bay would have said something. Uh, the Commanders, who just traded for him, would have said something. Obviously, like you said, the Colts, the 49ers, the Broncos. And the list just goes on. I mean, if, there's not a team that wouldn't have picked up the phone and said, hey, what, what the fuck's going on? Oh, I mean, I think, like, yeah, like most teams would have probably – if, if they, but they, I don't think they were ever shopping them. You know? Exactly. I just want. I'm just saying that I would. If I was a GM, I would have fucking. I would have traded him. And I bet half Packers fans. I bet half the Packers fans want him gone. Half the Packers fans are probably like, well, fucking, let's try it again here. 